here we go hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel this week i'm choosing pain I was gonna film this video a while ago but i don't know why i've held it off for so long honestly because like i said pain is the theme of this video i don't know why i want to put that onto myself but i feel like it could be fun i feel like i've done i think i've only done reading thrillers for a week but this week i'm gonna read sad books and see if they're really sad and if they make me cry i've got these all recommended by you guys i've seen tiktoks or i've been recommended them i think i want to rate them on a scale of how sad they are and then obviously just rate them normally and then i think at the end of the week we're gonna put them on a scale of the saddest to the least sad not sad if emotion was taken out of me if i felt something from the book you know if i got connected and i literally like it hurt so this week is gonna be a, a good one a rough one but a good one you guys can watch me maybe cry we'll see i have four books there was one other one what was, oh a little life but i think i'm gonna save that for when i'm in a good headspace i want to do its own reading vlog and i just heard so many things about it i'm just not prepared for it just yet but it will come not anytime soon but it'll come one day first one is all the bright places by jennifer niven this one is young adult but just the theme of the book is pretty depressing i guess you could say because i don't know too much about it but theodore the main guy character this is a romance also i'm pretty sure he's fascinated by death you know every day he thinks of ways he could die and then you have on the other side violet it says she lives for the future two sides apparently they end up connecting on the ledge of the bell tower at school and it says it's unclear who saves whom a heart-wrenching unflinching story of love shared life lived and two teens who find each other while standing on the edge i heard this was not sad more like depressing just because obviously one of the characters is fascinated by death like it says so we will see then i have the things we leave unfinished by rebecca yaros i saw this on tiktok actually and someone said it was literally the best book she's ever was it the best book she's ever read I made her cry i'm not sure exactly what it was it was one of those tiktoks where i watched the video and i immediately opened amazon and i bought this book i'm excited about this one what i've gotten from the back of that is her grandmother passed away he's finishing the grandmother's book but as they're reading the manuscripts of it it turns out it's a love story between the grandmother during world war ii and the ending was not happy then we have this one pack up the moon by kristen Higgins. I've read the back of this a few times before. I actually got this sent to me by Bestie Kennedy. I just... I know this one might hurt. This one is about a couple and really married, but Lauren has a disease and the husband, it says, struggles to make the most of the time he has left with his wife to come to terms with his future. But then it says Lauren has a plan to keep her husband moving forward and she leaves him letters. Any book with like a plan, not a planned death, but like, you know a death is coming, you know someone's sick and they don't have a lot of time left, like tears my heart out and like literally, it makes me break down. This one, I feel like is a top contender and make me cry. I just, I don't do well with books with that plot in it. Then the last one is If He Had Been With Me by Laura Nolan. I've had this for a while too. I think this was another one one that I saw a TikTok of and immediately bought. I got this cover. I've seen other covers that are so much better. Honestly, my Barnes & Noble has a better cover. I saw it the other day and I was like, I wish I got that, but they didn't sell it when I ordered this on Amazon. So unfortunately, I'm stuck with this creepy cover of a girl holding rainwater in the middle of the street. Pretty sure this is young adult fiction. It says ages 13 and up, so I don't know how heart-wrenching this one will be, but I saw a TikTok, like I said. Immediately bought it. I wasn't with Finn on August night. I should have been. It was raining. Him and Sylvie were arguing as they drove down the slick road. No one ever says what they were arguing about. Other people think it's not important. The cause of the argument is crucial, so let me tell you. This one sounds really interesting. I'm actually really excited about this one. Also, this video isn't books that, like, I didn't ask anyone to give me books that don't make me cry. Like, this is just, I've seen TikToks or I've seen maybe, like, a few things about them that they're sad. Like, this isn't the most upsetting books. Like, these aren't books that I've seen so many people say, oh my god, they're gonna make you cry. Like, I've seen other videos of people doing, like, reading sad books and it's like whatever the other ones are little life is usually included these are just books that i've heard are more on the sad side of fiction so we're gonna see if they make me cry i kind of want to start with this one and then we'll go from there i might save this one for last because i don't know i feel like this one's gonna hurt the most and i think the least sad one are gonna be one of these two things we leave unfinished and if he had been with me oh if he had been with me so this one i think is like a 50 50 chance but i've been saving these books for this video and i'm dying to read them so let's start this i don't know how this is gonna end or how this is gonna go but the goal is to see how much these books affect me. It's gonna be spoiler free. I'm gonna read them with you guys, obviously, or you can read them with me and I'll give you my opinions, my ratings. Let's start this book and let's see what this one has in store for me. I'm like almost 
almost 100 pages in. I feel like I should give like an update of how I'm feeling about the book. Just the first impressions slash update. Like I said, this is young adult, so it's like understandably written like that. And at first, I wasn't like really into the way it was written, but now I kind of like it. It definitely is short like sections of the book, a bit of a little break into the next part. And then also like the chapters like don't start. I mean, some will start on a new page, but then others like this will start randomly like in the middle of a page, which is kind of fun. But that's like not about the book, like that's... Anyway, the actual book, it's good so far. You're just getting the main characters, Autumn and Finney. More Autumn because it's in her point of view. But Autumn and Finney were like childhood best friends. And then they kind of just grew up together. They live next door to each other. So their moms are best friends. They call each other's moms aunt. When they grew up though, they just kind of like grew apart in friends. So they have different friends, different lives in high school. And they're in different groups. So they're no longer how close they used to be. But you kind of get glimpses into the past, how they used to hang out and how they used to connect when they were younger. My favorite trope the childhood friends but yeah they grew apart nothing like specifically like happened it's like their friendship so we've been getting that for a little and just like their relationships now and everything and how it's kind of like not like awkward but like awkward it is awkward between them. So I'm excited to see where it goes from here because I don't know what's gonna happen. Like I know how the back of it, it says they were going down a slick road, they crashed and whatever, like that part I understand. From where I'm at now, I'm like, how do we get from point A to point B? Like how do we get from there? And what happens in between? No, how do we get from point A to C? And what's B? You know, like what's in the middle? What's gonna happen? Are they gonna become friends again? So many questions, so many variables and I don't know. So I'm excited to see it. Like this book is definitely like not predictable. Like I don't know what's gonna happen. I hope it surprises me. So far so good. I'm actually enjoying it because it's like, I don't know what's gonna happen and I'm really excited to find out. That's my first update, my first impressions. I'm really enjoying it actually. Back to my headphones. I found a few playlists for this and it's all of the songs that I love to listen to during Second Chance Romances because it's like uh, when we were young from the dining table, like all the, all the good hits. Like obviously I put this on. Goodbye. I haven't annotated a book in a really long time, but I've been annotating this one. Like, I don't know. There's a few, like, quotes that I just, like, you know when you feel impelled? Compelled to annotate? Like, sometimes. I haven't annotated in so long. But this, like, I literally... Whatever. I'm feeling like I should annotate this book. There's some good quotes in here, and I'm, like, obsessed. Not obsessed. The quote... Whatever, I want to show you this quote. She picked up a book from the library. So the book's a treasure. She didn't think it would be that good when she picked it up. Now she can feel the print of words seeping through her skin into her veins, rushing to her heart and marking it forever. I want to savor it of loving a book and reading it for the first time because the first time's always the best. You'll never read the book for the first time ever again. Are we kidding? Because that's literally the best feeling in the world. I just love in books when authors make the characters also love books. It just makes it so much better. It's a whole song because you're like, it's relatable. Like that is the best thing about Rex. It's exactly how I feel when I read a good book for the first time. Like this book really good you just never experienced it for the first time again i've also highlighted a bunch of other things there's also some scenes like i don't know i always feel awkward lending my books to people that are annotated so like scenes i liked i kind of just like put a little star other things though like i literally highlighted so that should be fun if anyone ever reads this after me it's full on blue highlighter nothing crazy's happened still okay i just want to show you that quote i thought it was really cute and I think I have about a little over 80 pages left. I just want to say one thing that I love about this book is that like, it's basically just their life from all throughout high school, their friends, their lives, how they're like growing through high school but with, like without each other and I like that this is like a childhood friend soulmate situation where in normal books like this you get the break and then you get different timelines, how they were when they were younger connecting and how they are now. Not friends, not talking to each other and then trying to reconnect again. This one you don't get that break in the middle, you get just like their life and then she gives you kind of glimpses of how they were when they were younger and how it is now and you get like how they're not really friends or anything in between all of this when you know they had that like childhood connection like you see what happens in between without like that the year gap that you usually get from the past and present timelines in these kinds of books does that make sense i don't know but i'm really liking like this childhood friends way it's written there's just different scenes it's nothing like crazy that's happening but I feel what the main character autumn is feeling and there's like little subtle differences things that the author writes and says and i feel like it's very like i said subtle but like when you pick up on it, it hits. Like really like loving this. Like a lot. I'm gonna go finish. We'll see if it tears me up because apparently it tears everyone up. So I'm nervous. Pages <laughs> left. Okay.
<laughs> so that was sad. Let me get my bearings and we'll talk about it because I think I have a lot to say. Let me fix myself. Okay. I think I'm ready to talk about it now. I saw it coming, obviously. I think anyone reading this book sees it coming. You get what happens at the end of the book and right in the beginning. You don't know exactly the details until the end, but you get what's gonna happen. But you don't get their relationship and their dynamic. But I think that she did a really good job of making you connected to these characters without even like, like it was told in Autumn's point of view, but we get so much of Finn. It's like I know them and like reading this, like I knew him and his character so much. Just also, I feel like it kind of hinted than the beginning of the book like basically telling you how it ends kind of or telling you what happens at the end not really how it happens but other than that throughout the book there were parts and things that autumn mentioned kind of give sight to how it ends like she mentions a book that she likes and i kind of looked up what happened in the book and then she mentioned other things and just like her personality and her persona and how she just looked at life it's like you know there's gonna be a tragic ending for her at least like it's inevitable i loved the writing it felt more than a young adult book it was easy to read because of the young adult part but i think it was more than most young adult books that i've read i think she really did a great way of making it like deep enough without like saying things that were too deep like i don't know there was just like little details that like if you read into them like it felt deep so good and then the end oh and then their parents, because they're so close, their mothers, that part. I wish we got more at the end of the mothers and just more at the end after what happened. But I mean, it makes sense why it ended so abruptly like that. I don't know what I would rate this either. I think I would honestly give this five stars because I loved it so much. I also can see why other people wouldn't like it. Like, I feel like there's probably a lot of controversial or different opinions on this book, which I think is kind of fun. But I might give it five stars. Yeah, I feel like I need to really reread this. And like now I could see like the little parts where I was like hinting at the ending. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, it's one of those where I feel like you could read it again after knowing how it ends and stuff and just really feeling and just really seeing all the hints that were thrown in your face. That was good. Let's rate it. I think I would give it five stars. I think the sadness of it and the pain, you don't get it until it hits you at the end. But also I feel like it wasn't, like it was definitely like obviously sad obviously sad i think i would rate it like on a scale of sadness slash three out of five like it was definitely there like it hits especially when you think back onto like the little things that were thrown throughout the book like i said i'm really happy i annotated this one i just like randomly felt like i should and i'm happy that i did because i got some good things underlined let's go on to our next one i need to like think about this book for a little bit because that was oh, that was really good really good <laughs> I literally could only get to page 30 in all of the time I read yesterday. I mean, I didn't read that long. Like last night, I tried reading and I literally couldn't stop thinking about the book. I couldn't stop thinking about it if he had been with me. I was looking up TikToks and like I'm not posting that I read it. I need to talk about it with someone. But I couldn't because I don't want to post that I'm reading it. So I want this video, the books in the video to be surprised, whatever. I texted like five people. I commented on a few TikToks. No one responded to the TikToks and then the text that one I knew has read it. I even DM'd someone. I felt like I might have read it. I went on TikTok and I looked up if he had been with me and I just scrolled through the videos and it hurt. I can't stop thinking about it. I want to reread it. I miss it. I don't want to say that it put me in a slump to read this, but I'm literally going to have to power through through this book. This one doesn't feel like it'll be sad. I feel this is more of just like a love story with like a deeper meaning because it has the two main characters. He's finishing his her grandmother's book and then you get the letters from the grandmother back in the day from her love story that didn't work out I guess. So I feel this is just gonna be like a love story with a more meaning and stuff. Not too sad but I guess we'll find out. My prediction is this isn't gonna be as sad as the other one. The other one literally broke. I'm like I'm torn up over that book. I feel like this one won't be as bad. It's only one way to find out. I just had to tell you guys that I couldn't get the review pages because I kept thinking of Phineas and if he had been with me. Then Harry Ween happened and I just sat in the live stream. I think from 12 to 1 30. I think the whole show I was on the live stream and that I couldn't stop thinking about. I still can't stop thinking about it. Grease was my favorite movie when I was growing up. He dressed as Danny Zuko. Anyway, okay. Now what this video is about. Just telling you that last night I didn't read a lot because there were other things on my mind and things happening. And Taylor Swift announced this morning about her tour. So a lot's going on and I need to just like 
I want to get to 100 pages. I just, that's all I want to do today. That's my goal. If I can get more, I'll be so happy. But I'm just going to set an attainable goal so that it feels good when I get there. Let's do a halfway, a halfway update. I think I'm halfway. I'm about 200 pages in out of four or something. Almost halfway. I'm not connected to the characters as much as I wish I was. I personally don't really care for this story. I don't know what it is. I think it might be because I'm not a historical romance, anything history related type of reader. And it goes from the point of views of the main two characters, then present day trying to figure out writing her great grandmother's story. But then it'll go to chapters between Scarlett and Jameson, who are the great grandmother and great grandfather, how they met. And I think it's their tragic ending that they're writing a book on so you get their point of view like as if they were the main character that part i don't know i don't really care for it honestly also the chapters are like painfully long not painfully long but they just like literally feel so long like this chapter is 15 pages and i don't know something about chapters being long just makes me lose my interest in it and i just i don't know i'm like kind of halfway i don't think this is gonna make me cry i don't even know how it would i mean i know the ending of the great grandmothers is like the sad one and that they're writing the book on so like that'll be sad but like i don't like when that part comes will i care i mean it'll hurt probably but like will it not my favorite read and then also this is a personal problem but like before some chapters there's notes from great grandmother and jameson like scarlett and jameson would send notes to each other while they were separated during the war their love story takes place during the 1940s during the war so they're separated for a little and their notes that they send each other are written in like this script i don't know if it's just me <laughs> Probably is. But I literally can't read the font that the script is in. This one too, it's a different script font, but like still. Why can't I read that? It literally has to go like this. It's, I don't know. That's a personal problem though. Not loving it, which is kind of a bummer, but I'm gonna try to finish it. I'll come back towards the end, I guess. If I change my mind, or they'll come back around like the sad part, but so far, not so good, which is sad. <laughs> The book is over and there were no tears although the ending was a mix between like sad like you knew the sad part was coming because it's just it's the love story of her great grandmother like that whole love story you get but there was kind of like a twist that i didn't see coming and that part i like really liked the ending definitely made up for the first part of the book i just feel like this book was so long and i loved the present love story the enemies to lovers the slow burn between georgia and Noah, the way I don't remember the names and I just finished the book. Georgia and Noah, like the present was so good, them trying to figure out how to write the rest of her great-grandmother's story, how they want the ending to be, and then like figuring all that out together, but then you get the past between the great-grandmother and her true love, and it's like a great love story. I just personally don't like historical romances or anything taking place during like war times or anything like that. It just doesn't like pique my interest. I just don't know why. So it was good. I just wasn't really like interested, so I didn't feel like too connected to them that much so i was just like i don't know the first like three-fourths of the book were really slow to get up to but then the last little section of the book like the last 40 pages were just so good but yeah it didn't make me cry i guess because i wasn't too connected i kind of knew what was coming it definitely like was sad heartbreaking and everything but just like since i wasn't connected to the story and the characters too much i didn't really care no, I didn't care. I just didn't feel it. I feel like a lot of people will probably love this book and that's the thing. Like, I think it's just for me personally, I didn't love it. The ending was really good. Like, I loved the present love story, like I said. And I loved how it all connected. Like, the great-grandmother wrote the book of her love story with Jameson. Like, her point of view, whatever. And that was the chapters in the olden times. Like, that was those chapters was, like, the writing that she wrote of their love story. But it felt like you were just, like, in her point of view. I don't know. It was really interesting. Definitely interesting layout of the book. I like how it all connected and stuff. Just not. I don't know. I don't know if I want to read it like three and a half i think i would go up to like four stars because it's definitely good the story was it was crazy the ending i really liked the ending i think i would do three and a half slash four right now i'm in between the scaling of emotions taken out of me probably like a two i definitely felt the emotions but it wasn't anything crazy and i'm still thinking about if he had been with me like i literally can't get that book out of my head and i'm trying to figure out like i can't remember what i rated the emotions on that one because if i had to change it right now like i would literally give it a four or five because i still tear up thinking about the ending so but i'll be honest i'm kind of glad this one's over let's pick out the next one. I don't know which one I'm gonna 
read next. This one, not a flop, but just like not a personal favorite. But I can like see why everyone loves this or like if people do read this, like why they would love it. Definitely interesting. Not like any romance I've read before. So it probably would interest a lot of other people. I kind of want to do all the bright places. I think this would be a quicker read. This one I just feel like it's going to be really sad because when there's like a terminal illness or like a sickness or like someone's dying and like you just know the inevitable ending, just like it, it hurts and it hits me hard. So I think I'm going to wait for say this last, maybe best for last, I don't know, and read this one next. I seriously, I don't know why I can't stop thinking of if he had been with me. I think I'm going to reread it or reread just the ending of it. Maybe I should read through the stuff I annotated. I like can't stop thinking about it. Let me look at the ending. Okay, this is not what I should be doing right now. If you've read this book, chapter 84, I don't need this right now. I would put the emotion scale up on this one. This one really hits and it like it's staying with me and I don't know why. I can't stop thinking about this book. Let's start this one. I started this once before. I got like 10 pages in and then I stopped. Not sure why. I guess I wasn't in the mood for a story with this theme. So let's start it. I'm happy to be starting a new book. I just like, I, I wanted that book to end. Like the story was good. It just felt so long and it was like never ending. And I was like, just get to the end. Let's start this and we'll see how it goes. I'm ready for first opinion slash update of this book. I'm only 65 pages in. These chapters, remember I was saying in the last book how the chapters were so long and it was like annoying? These chapters like aren't short, but I'm not bothered by it. Like I actually am enjoying it and I don't know what that says about me. Cause I was just complaining about long chapters, but I guess it depends on the book. I'm kind of enjoying it. I like that it's young adult. I don't know what it is about young adult. Thing is young adult rom-coms and like cheesy romances, I don't really love. Like young adult like this, I'm enjoying. And I don't know what it is about it. Characters, I guess right now, they're very like young adult like what you would picture these characters being i don't know like predictable characters but i'm really enjoying it i also found out that there's a show on this book so that's fun i'm gonna watch it after i just found it out but i've had this book for so long and it literally says it right there that's a netflix film so i had no idea but i'm gonna watch it after i actually looked up the characters in it and it's not at all how i pictured them i'm gonna pretend i didn't see that and picture how i want to picture them until i watch the show but i don't know where this is gonna go basically so far they go to the same high school theodore is just like a weird kid and then violet used to be like a very popular girl but then something happened in her personal life and now she's just like not really the same anymore like she's kind of in a darker place so i think that's how they're gonna connect because she doesn't really see the point in being friends with her friends anymore like being the popular person like it doesn't really matter to her anymore so they've only had like one conversation but i'm excited to see them like talk more and like hang out maybe i don't know so far so good i'm actually kind of enjoying it i don't know where it's gonna go so hopefully it doesn't get boring or anything i hope it just like stays the way it is now but i'm intrigued to see how this ends and see where they end up goodbye I'm about 308 pages in the book. I think it's like 370-ish. I think I know how it ends. I did post on my story like just a picture and this book was in it. I didn't really post the book, but it was in it. So people were like, oh, that all the bright places. And I was like, yeah. And they were like, oh, good luck. Like that's one of my favorite books, whatever. Good luck at the end. Everyone was saying good luck. And I'm just like, I feel like I know what's coming. And I feel like it's really sad if I'm correct. I don't want to say it because I don't know if that's really the ending. So I'm going to wait. I'm going to go finish it now. Let's see if it makes me cry. Let's see if it pulls any emotions out of me i'm definitely connected to the characters i really like finch I like being in his point of view i like understanding why he just like seeing in his brain and kind of like what he does and how he thinks and his life and stuff it's very i don't know i like him almost done i just thought i should update because i'm literally about to finish tonight i'm gonna go finish right now and we'll see let's hope for the best actually let's hope for let's hope for the best but also like let's hope that i cry because i kind of feel like the target sticker is still on here whatever hope for the best in the ending but i feel like also so it's not gonna end well so we're also probably hoping for the worst to see if i could cry i don't know we'll see i'm gonna go finish so i didn't finish last night but <sighs> woke up this morning and looked at where i fell asleep reading and it was right before something big happened so this morning when i read that part like it didn't really hit me because i was like i'm not really in the book right now like i just started reading again and this is what happened and i'm still going and after that i was like how is there still like i don't know if there was like 50 40 pages left and i'm reading it and it's just that's what's making me cry right now violet's like going to these different places in the state and if you've read the book like you know what part i'm on it's really really getting to me i'm gonna go finish now i like i have like 20 pages left Okay.
I'm gonna finish. I'm ready to talk about it. I really like this one. This one didn't really pull out so many emotions out of me, like basically like crying. But like I felt them. Like this was really good. I think I would read this four to five. Not that it got boring some parts. I just felt like, I don't know, some parts weren't too exciting. But I mean, that's fine. I just, I would give it four to five. I think the author did such an incredible job portraying all the characters and all of the effects that everyone's action has on people. I think the author did like such a good job with the characters in this book. And I think it was just done so well. Emotion skills. I think I'll give it 3 out of 5. I kind of just expected the ending. I knew what was coming. After the major part happened, there were still other pages, like I said, and those parts were, I feel like, more. Like, I didn't expect those parts to come, and I feel like those felt, like, more emotional. I don't really know how to explain that one, but I felt like the big part, not that it wasn't expected, but it was just, like, low-key deep down. Like, I felt like I knew that was coming, you know? I think that's where I stand with this. But really, really good. I'm really happy that I read this. I think I need to watch, is this a show or movie? I need to watch that now. It says it on here it's a netflix film see if they did the book justice okay last but certainly not least pack up the moon if i had to choose this one might be like top contender of making me cry when it's just a plan to death and everyone knows it and everyone's preparing for it hurts hurts so bad it's officially been been a week today since i started this video and this is gonna be a week of reading sad books but i still have this so i'm gonna try to finish this as fast as i can i'll probably finish tomorrow or the next day and we'll just pretend that it's a week of me reading sad books let's not say that i cheated we're gonna ignore that part shall we get into it let's do it maybe i should take my vest off i don't know guys i don't know i feel like i was reading so slowly i know this book is about grief but we're getting him trying to overcome the death of his wife obviously and she left him like letters to help him get back into the world you know help him after obviously such a hard time and she knew how he was gonna feel after so she's trying to help him but then you get her point of you like months before and like kind of how it was while she was sick and they knew she didn't have a lot of time left which is also really sad to like read or whatever but i don't know it's just so many like extra scenes and details that i was reading and i was like so painfully bored i feel like they should just like get to the point you know so this is so out of this is so unlikely for I don't usually do this but i started listening to it because i literally was like i can't sit here and read it i was like maybe it'll help if someone's reading it to me so i and i've been listening to it all day so i will say i got pretty far i'm on chapter 16 i don't think i updated what page i was on i'm on page 175 of like literally like 400 something pages that i just don't i don't know if this is a book for me honestly like, it could get better we're still in the beginning i'm just not loving it and i wanted to love it so bad i don't know i feel like i'm the only person that's feeling this about this book because i've seen literally so many good reviews on it you know what it could turn out from here maybe this is just the beginning of the book and setting it up but i will say i do like <laughs> the way i just didn't say anything i do like that it's showing her point of view of her sick and like every other chapter every few chapters so it started maybe like a few weeks or a month before she passed away and then a few chapters later it'll be like five months before she, she passed away as the sickness was like not as severe as it was so close to her death and i like that they're going backwards in time i feel like that's really interesting because you get how they were when she was not as sick as she became and you can see how they got through all of that and i really do like that part but his parts i don't know i feel like i just not what i expected i guess but it could get better i could end up loving it i'm gonna keep going though because this could turn well couldn't turn out what this could go well i'm gonna keep going i'll update you guys further in and i don't know I still have three hours left of listening to it. I read faster than they speak it, so I could read it quicker. But every time I try to read it, it just gets... So Guys, I'm bored. I don't feel connected. The writing just isn't for me. The storyline is incredible. I absolutely love the way, like I said, the timelines go of how it's going backwards of her passing away and how incredibly sick she was. And then all the way back to like when she just thought she was fine, she had a cough and stuff. That stuff, like that storyline is great. I love the letters. I love... She's trying to help him with his grief after she she knew he was not gonna be okay after she passed away. 
love it but the writing and the way it's going is so just slow for me so much going on that i just like don't think needed to be added like it's like not really getting to any points and i know it's just like a story about grief and life after like i said someone passed away like i, I think i spoke about this in the other clip like exactly what i'm saying now but it has not gotten better is what i'm trying to say let me try to see how many pages i have left i think i've gotten like over halfway i listened to it a lot today when i was working on my computer too which was really nice audiobooks well, i'm so late to that game three 17 of 448. Okay, I have 130 pages left. Should I just like speed read as much as I can and then audiobook if I have to like do something? I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go finish. I don't think this is gonna make me cry. This video, I feel like, I mean, I guess I could say this at the end, but I just wanna, before my wrap up, I just wanna say like, it's so subjective, the emotions and the feelings that people get from books. Like me, the first book that I read, hysterically crying and just hitting so hard for me. The next person can think it's like the worst book ever, not cry from it and just like not like the book. It's crazy how different people perceive book and get connected to different books and i think that's what i love so much about reading like everyone is so different like i've had people tell me all four of these books i've seen either someone told me or i saw online but they like sobbed to it and i'm just like it's so crazy that everyone is so different and i could cry at one but you might not cry at one or might not feel emotionally invested to some and i might give the book five stars like it's just so subjective and it's so crazy we'll talk about more in the wrap up i'm gonna go finish we'll see if i cry at the end maybe i just don't think the writing style is for me don't come for me if this is your favorite book. I'm so sorry. Again, subjective. Goodbye. This chapter this one hits i'm not even done oh my god okay i just need to take a mini break before i finish this one's brutal okay that one was rough i'm gonna go finish now let's wrap up i'm ready to talk about the books let's start with what i just finished my face is like dry from all of the tears that are now dried up on my face anytime someone dies in a book and you get that scene and like their last scenes before they're gone is like the top thing that hits me so hard and makes me like uncontrollably sad those scenes hurt especially when it's in their point of view like this was in lauren's point of view i've rated this two and a half stars the storyline was great the letters and the way that it went backwards timeline from her being extremely sick to like her figuring out she's sick to her not even questioning that she has a cough and asthma and then you get her in the hospital bed so i like the timeline of it i like the letters her knowing he's, he would need her help after she passed away and trying to help his grief process and get back on his feet like all of that was good it was just the writing that i just could not get through i just feel like there were so many extra scenes and details that i think could have gotten taken out and this book could have been like a hundred pages shorter and that's just a personal opinion i, I was gonna write this three star because I feel like so many people would like this book. But then I was like, I didn't like it. I didn't like the writing. So I gave it two and a half. I think that is fair for how I felt. But on a motion scale, I think I would give it like four stars. The letters definitely hit. I give, it, I give it like four and a half. But some parts are just so drawn out that I'm just like, I can't even feel for them right now. But the ending, the last like 30 pages I really liked, but the ending definitely hit hard. And even the beginning, just like him right after she passes away, dealing with life again, made me cry too. So the emotions are definitely up there. The book in general for me was not up there so let's rank my week of reading sad books from my favorite to my least favorite ratings wise and then we'll rate them most emotional to least emotional in my opinion obviously what made me the most to least emotional so let's do my favorite to least i think i would do if he had been with me this is like one of my new favorite books i think i'm gonna reread this at some point i always say i'm gonna reread books but this one i think i actually am going to and this one i really loved the characters i loved the storyline i like how she wrote the details and the characteristics of these characters like a lot I really liked that one and then this one my favorite setting but I thought the story was really interesting I thought it was definitely a different way to write a love story you have like a present love story and then you have a tragic love story of her family all in one so that was really cool it's not my favorite read and then obviously what I just read and talked about that's my ranking for these books and then emotional wise I, I would rank it this is just so biased but I loved this book so much 
post this one. I was sobbing and I literally couldn't stop thinking about like you guys saw for days after. I was on TikTok scrolling. No one I knew, knew of, had read the book. So I was going through TikToks of people that have posted this book. I searched if he had been with me. And I commented on a few and I was like, I need some, I need to talk to someone about this. Like I literally needed therapy over this book. And definitely this one. It's just the whole death of a spouse and the grief and stuff. It definitely hits emotional wise. It hurts. It does. This one for sure. Because it's such like a buildup of trying to see the bright side of things, especially with both characters, even though one on the back is described for living for the future. Like both characters are helping each other, but also in the same kind of way, like it's very similar. And then obviously you get the rest of the book. So yeah. And then honestly, this one, I didn't think this one was too emotional. I think it's because the tragic love story took place in the 1940s. You go and you know their story already and you know that it ended. So while you're reading it, like you kind of know what's going to happen. But then there's a plot twist. So that was fun, but not on an emotional scale for me personally. That's my wrap up. I really enjoyed this video. This was really fun. I love me a good book that'll make me cry, make me feel things. I just love getting so connected to characters and storylines where it's like you feel like they're real and it hurts you when something happens and it's just like you feel for them. Like I was saying before, it's just crazy how subjective all these are. Like this could have been someone's top if they read all four of these books. And I love it. I love it so much. So don't get mad at me if some of these that I didn't love are your favorite books of all time. I can see how any of these would be someone's favorite books. Like I said, subjective. Everyone has different opinions and some may love these, some may not. And for me, I love doing this because I love seeing my opinion in comparison to others. It's just, it's really fun. And I think it's interesting. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys liked watching me cry. I don't know any other type of books you want me to read for a week. I feel like this was fun. I did the thrillers, now sad books. Maybe I'll do romance for a week. Can't really think of any other types I could do for a week. But let me know if you have any suggestions. I'm very happy about this one. Let me know any of your opinions on these books. Please don't come for me if I didn't like your favorite book. I swear. They weren't totally bad. It's just, I had different... I just, difference in opinions. It's fine. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you did and I will see you hopefully in the next one. Bye!